making a roast chicken in my New Wave Oven Pro. And that gives me 45 minutes for it dings to talk to you about politics. I've already talked to you about religion. They say you're not supposed to talk about religion or politics. I'm going to talk to you about both. I'm 62 years old. I want to make sure someone with some sense gets elected into the president's office. Well, let's talk about the difference between these two candidates. Donald J. Trump or Hillary Clinton for president. First of all, Donald J. Trump. He plans to reduce taxes to spur economic growth so that non-government jobs are created. Not requiring more taxes to create and sustain government jobs and more of them. Man, we don't need any more employees in the federal government. We need a president who will work with Congress to create an economic environment where real jobs, jobs outside, outside of government can be created and will not cost the taxpayer more money. Plus, the taxes they pay will help pay for other things in the government. He plans to implement a secure southern border so that we can eliminate infiltration of drugs and infiltration of illegal aliens. They are illegal aliens, not undocumented immigrants. Immigrants try to follow the legal path into the country. These people, whatever race they are, doesn't matter to me, they are illegal aliens. They come in illegally, sneak in, end up on our welfare rolls, and cost us money. <clears throat> he also wants to implement severe vetting of immigrants of any kind to the U.S., ensuring that the immigrants will benefit the U.S. and not become welfare costs. Also, ensuring that immigrants embrace our culture and love the U.S. Now, I want to talk about my house for a minute. I've got a small house. You've seen two places inside of it across my videos. I've got a front door in a back door. I've got a lock on both doors. I've got a lock for the handle that you job up under the handle on one door and the other one I have a special lock on that too. Now how stupid would I be to leave one door wide open for anybody to walk in and do anything they want to to me and my wife and my daughter in my house and lock the back door. That's an idiot would do that. No, sir. I've got both doors locked. I've got special adapters on them so it's hard to get in either way. And if you break into my house, let me tell you what happened. I've got a semi-automatic pistol and two revolvers and you will wish you had not broken into my house. I'm a peace-loving man. A good Christian man, but I ain't letting nobody break in my house and hurt my wife or my daughter or me. So, apply that simple thought to the United States of America. If you've got people running drugs that are killing our children into the country across a border that does not exist physically, and there are people breaking the law, jumping the fence into our country, stealing jobs by being paid less than others in industries and ending up on our welfare systems, eating up the money that could help our military people and our homeless people that are sleeping on the streets. How much sense does it take to secure the border? Okay, enough about that. Trump wants to work with Congress to implement health reform to put an end to the failed Obamacare that is costing U.S. taxpayers millions and millions of extra dollars in health costs and limiting the medical treatments available to us. What about Aetna? Did you read about that just this past week in the newspaper? Or you new folks watch it on a tweet or see it on Facebook or look at it on a news site? They're jumping off the boat. They don't want any more Obamacare. It's cost them billions of dollars. That's the way all the suppliers are going to end up working with Obamacare. 
Mr. Trump wants to reform China trade and other trade with entities that are cheating the U.S. out of money and out of jobs and whole industries. Man, I'm for that. I want to think about America first. I want our boys and girls to get jobs. And I want the trade to be balanced and fair so that we're, they're not sucking the money out of our nation and living high and on the hog with our dollars. No, I want it to be fair trade. And we need that fixed. And we need the laws fixed. And Clinton plans to do it so that it will be unprofitable to take a, country, take a job out of this country. You heard about Nabisco taking Oreos, of all things, out of this country to be made in Mexico. Clint, Trump called them out and uh, exposed it, <laughs> and Dave, they didn't stop the plan to do that. How about that? There must be ways to do it. He's not even president, already affecting companies to stay in America. I like that. He wants to work with Congress to rebuild the U.S. military and take care of our military personnel. He plans to mil reform the military health system so that veterans can get the health care they need from anyone they want and when they need it. And also wants to help veterans and has done so in the past outside of the health situation. Man, we need to build up our military. China is building their military up. Russia is building their military up. Iran is taking our money that we're stupid enough to give them and building up their military. We're at the lowest numbers. Uh, we're at pre-World War II levels of military personnel and necessary equipment to protect this nation. Some of our, our bombers are older than I am. Have mercy, can you imagine that? And they're still flying, counted as a nuclear deterrent. Most importantly, one of these two people is going to put some Supreme Court justices in and federal judges, and I want Donald Trump to be doing that because he will put people in that will follow the Constitution instead of trying to rewrite it. This will preserve Second Amendment gun rights, protect our other rights in this nation, and this, friends, is the most important reason long term. You want your rights and your Constitution preserved because it's the only thing in between you and a dictator. You remember my story about dictator, don't you? At church. Well, what has he done in the past? The man has created and sustains more than 50 businesses worldwide while managing and providing non-government jobs for 40,000 people. Now, the man has had some bankruptcies. Lord, every company I know of that's had, uh, that exists has had bankruptcies. If you get large enough, you're going to find areas of your business that fail, and you just have to have a bankruptcy, and, it, and that's the way it is. <clears throat> In each of these situations, he followed the U.S. laws and the pattern of normal business practice, and the man's still running 55, I think, businesses with 40,000 employees. I'm for that kind of man. None of them are taxpayer costing. They are paying taxes into the U.S., government. I like that. Now, some people say that um, he has said things that are not politically correct. There's some things he said I wouldn't have said. And I'm right free to say what I think. But you know what? He's only made mistakes of saying things that are not politically correct or maybe even offensive. But let's talk about a comparison between these candidates. We have all seen the videos in the commercials and on the news shows of Hillary Clinton outright lying to the coal miners, stating that she will not be killing more of their jobs, followed immediately by 
a clip where she said she was absolutely putting them out of work. That's what you call a liar, someone who cannot be trusted, who will not tell you the truth, whom you cannot believe. Donald Trump has not been fired for lying or seeking to subvert the Constitution. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Donald Trump has always supported the military and our representation around the world. And he has not ignored responsibilities that in any way would result in the deaths as Hillary Clinton's ignoring numerous requests for protection from our uh, embassy that caused it to fall in the death of our ambassador and three other people. And she got off of that too. Donald Trump seeks to always tell the truth, and that's what gets him in trouble more than anything else. Man, I would believe and like to follow somebody who'll tell me the truth. Tell me the truth whether I like it or not to my face, but don't go around lying to me to make me feel better and then treat me wrong behind my back. Hillary Clinton today, after her email mess that she got a waiver for, others have done worse than she did in the email scandal and are in prison serving sentences. And she got off scot-free. Hillary Clinton is now under investigation for lying to Congress and has been branded as unfit by the FBI to be cleared for national security information. Did you know that when Hillary Clinton left the White House, she stole 200000 dollars worth of furniture and other things from the White House that she had to return. You come to my house and steal a bunch of stuff, you're going to regret that you did it and you won't be back. She complains about some of the things Donald Trump has said about women, but accepts into the Clinton Foundation millions, millions and tens of millions hundreds of millions of dollars from countries that rape, beat, and subject and kill women as a way of life. And who's got a problem with women? Tell me. Also, Donald Trump has a black head of staff that works with him and takes care of all of his needs, and he has more women managers than he does male and he pays them all the right salary. They're paid the same as a man would be paid. And before he tried to be elected, he's been doing that for years. Not so. Hillary Clinton did not pay her female staffers the same way she paid her male staffers. Listen to what the Democratic Watergate Committee Supervisor over Hillary Clinton, the Chief Counsel to the House Judiciary Committee said when he fired her during the Watergate situation. He said, and I quote, she was an unethical, dishonest lawyer. She conspired to violate the Constitution, the rules of the House, the rules of the committee, and the rules of confidentiality. Now, I was a manager in the North Carolina State Administrative Office of the Courts for 15 years or more. And if I saw someone with a resume like this, I'd tear it up before anybody else got a chance to look at it. No way would I want that person working for me, and I don't want this person in the White House. No, friends, I will not under any circumstance vote for another Clinton. I am voting for an honest man, a man with a history of creating jobs and sustaining them, a man who cares about the U.S. first, and the only man who spent his own money so that he can be unswayed in serving the people as president. A man who knows about work, who has worked, and does work long days for his family and people. A man with some of the finest children I've ever seen in my life on the political scene, and I will vote for Donald J. Trump, good Lord willing. Friends, you don't want Hillary Clinton for president. You want Donald J. Trump. You may not like what he says, but boy, you will like what he does. All right.
That's all I got to say. See you later. Bye. Bye.